Okay, you guys won't believe what I just found down here at the creek bottom at the creek property. Um, I've not seen one of these down here before, but we got us a creek creature. Stay tuned to find out what it is. This is this is crazy. Okay, what in the world is that? You guys see that right there? Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today, I'm at the creek property and um, I have a bit of an issue. It's a bigger problem than I anticipated. And um, we're gonna talk about that in a minute. Right now, we're gonna go check the traps. If you caught the last video, we said a coyote trap and we said a crawdad trap. And um, we're gonna go check those, see if we got anything in them. And I was hoping the girls would be here today to check them, but um, not happening. So hopefully, um, if we get anything, we'll save them and, and we'll come back tomorrow and check them and all that. Let's go down there and look and see what we got. Wish me luck on the Cody trap. I'm gonna say probably not. If anything, we got a raccoon, um, but you just never know. So we're gonna go down straight down there, check it, and we'll go from there. Nothing yet. Okay, so a big no on the Cody trap. So maybe we'll get something tonight, we'll see. I figured there'd at least be a, a raccoon in there. Um, let's go check the crawdad trap and then we'll come back up here and we'll discuss what issue we got going on and how we're gonna attempt to solve it. Okay, let's walk over to the crawdad trap. No luck in the Cody trap, which I kind of expected that, but I, I'm almost positive we're gonna have crawdads. So I brought the girls bucket and any big ones that we catch, I'm gonna put in here and put back in the water. And um, I'll leave some room so they can, like, you'll see, I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Um, and then hopefully tomorrow, I'm gonna reset this trap tonight, or right now, and hopefully tomorrow the girls can come out and I'll have them come over here and check it. And um, then if we got enough, we're gonna do a little boil for them. Kind of like the last one of the year. Man, this water, it's unbelievable how clear this water is. This is awesome. There's fish everywhere. I wish we had big fish in here. There's a lot of small ones. Look at that. And it's colder than ever, that's for sure. So, um, Hope was wanting to set a camera up down here at the creek where all the poop's at and see exactly what it is. She thought maybe it's an otter. And uh, there's a lot of crawdads. Oh, there's a crawdad right there. There's a lot of crawdads in the poop. Look like raccoon poop to me, but I do know otters love crawdads. I'm sure, I'm sure that um, raccoons do too. I'm sure that raccoons eat everything. But we may have to set a camera up down here, back over there where all the poop's side, just to see what we get. It'd be pretty interesting to see what's going on down here at the creek itself. So yesterday I got my chainsaws running and I think I'm gonna make time to come down here and um, cut up that big sycamore tree that fell across the creek down there. And there's some more trees over here that we need to get out of the creek. I think one day I'm gonna spend down here doing that. That big sycamore tree is super straight. There's some crawdads in there, can you see them? It's, there's, it's super straight and would be really good to mill. Um, we're wanting to build a chicken coop soon and that would be some good wood, I think, to use. Brandy's also wanting to replace the siding on the little tiny cabin. Um, I don't know if the sycamore, I think we used oaks. So I think I want to do oak on that, but anyways, we'll, that'll be for another day. There's a lot of crawdads. We can pull them all out. We can separate the big ones and, and put them in here and then let the little ones go. I don't know if you can see that from here or not, the GoPro. Oh yeah, the girls did good. And I see crawdads all over the place still. There's one right there. I see like six of them right now. But look at this. You can just see them. This thing's loaded with them. There's some good ones in there too. Girls, you did a good job. Yeah, there's some eaters in there. There's some fish in there too. You see the fish swimming around? Girls did an awesome job. Oh, there's some big ones in there. 
Oh, someone left their shoe down here, sold to it anyways. I'm gonna use it. Okay. Let's get these big ones out of here. Look at that. They make every bit of them starting to. There's a big one. I'm gonna stick the big ones. So we'll put the big ones in there. Here's another one. I'll be an eater. Another eater. <laughs> yeah, we got some. Oh, get back in there. There's, there's more eaters in here than I thought. A little one. There's a fish in there too. Is that all the eaters? We might have 10 of them in there worth eating. Okay. Got all the ones I want to keep out. There's a bunch of little ones in there. Oh, there's no, actually, there's two more in there. I want to keep or at least one hiding from me. I see you over there. Are these little bass. What are those? Little brown bass. What do you guys think? Let me comment down below if you guys know what those are. Look at him, hold on, hold on, look at him. He don't want to go in there. Okay, so we got a little, little mess here, not a whole lot, just enough for us to have a little boil, but we're gonna save these. So we hope we can get some um, tonight and check it tomorrow, hopefully. Um, but I'm gonna put some oysters in it this time. What I found out to work best is sardines, but we were out of sardines. I think oysters are gonna do really good too. Zip it up, take our trash with us. That worked out good. So now, we just reset this. All the oils are going everywhere. this we put water in it I'm gonna leave it just like that I could actually probably let it float I don't think it's gonna sink it might though you think that'll sink I don't think it will we'll just do that We'll leave that just floating just like that with the live crawdads in there. Hopefully a raccoon or something doesn't get in here and get them. They possibly could. Um, but we'll check this again tomorrow and um, and see what we come up with. Hopefully, uh, hopefully the girls can come because they set this. I wanted them to be able to check it, but they're at school and we don't have time to come out after school to get this done. Um, but they love catching crawdads. I love it too. I think it's so much fun. Reminds me of my childhood. All right, let's go back up to the bus and talk about what the problem is that we have and how we're gonna hopefully fix it. And that can't go anywhere. That can't float downstream because this is isolated spring fed right here. Hopefully they all survive in that. 
If so, that's gonna be our new go-to uh, system. Catch a bunch, keep them down here until we're ready to eat them. There's a beaver stick, as Hope would say. Hope loves finding these beaver sticks. Ooh, that's a slimy one, though. That's a slimy one. Gonna walk up here and check another crawdad spot and then show you guys from a distance. I don't wanna walk up there right now. Um, the, the tree, the sycamore tree that fell is like really long and there's two sections to it that are really straight. And a lot of people use sycamore for like cabinets, um, all kinds of stuff. It's a softer wood, um, but a lot of people use it for a lot of different stuff. And I think, I think a chicken coop would be pretty cool. And you'll see, well, whenever I show you guys full blown the tree, you'll see just how straight it is and how much looks like uh, usable um, lumber I would get out of it. So here's another one of our crawdad spots, but we're having problems with um, a raccoon taking it out and eating the bait and all that. This looks like it's actually feeding pretty good. Some uh, Another really good spot is right over in there, but I'm not walking in all that mess. I actually probably can get my mower down here and mow some of these weeds just don't hit some big rocks. Let's peek around this corner and I'll show you this tree real quick. Randy's been wanting me to clean it up. It's just been so dang hot. So one morning I can come down here and at least start cutting on it. Um, I got my bobcat down here, that would help. All right. You can see it right there. And we'll show it better when we're actually working on it. It's super straight. I bet it's a good 40 foot on both sides, at least 40 foot that we can actually mill. And you can see the a good 100 mile an hour wind blew that down during a storm a few months ago. But I would definitely like to get use out of that before a big flood washes it down and breaks it all up. Um, that's some really good usable lumber. And then this branch is off the sycamore tree. There's two of them that fell right there. And I need to get this out of here too, just to get it cleaned up. Nothing I can really do with that could cut it up for firewood but it, they don't it doesn't burn real hot it's really soft you can see it okay what in the world is that do you guys see that right there what the heck is that it is right here where i parked look at that it ain't moving it looks like it might be. It almost looks like a badger. It ain't moving. Let's see that. No, it's dead. It's dead, whatever it is. I thought maybe a badger or a raccoon at first. It definitely ain't a raccoon. What the heck is that? That rock landed on top of it. It don't look like it's been in the water that long. It don't smell. So what's crazy about it is like two days ago, a day ago, whenever we came down here last, we all smelt something, like something dead. And I said, you know, animals go to water when they're injured and about to die or just injured and they always go to water and you'll find a lot of dead animals on the creek because of that. It's like a groundhog. I think that's a groundhog. Yeah, def definitely ain't a beaver. Look at that. I'm not gonna show a lot of blood or nothing like that. YouTube will demonetize me. That's a groundhog. Groundhog down here at the creek. Yeah, I told you guys too, I seen a bunch of dens over here. There ain't no telling what happened to it. If it was a coyote or something that got it, it would have drug it off and ate it. 
It could just been sick and I'm touching it. <sighs> Trying to think what to do. I may just leave it right here for now. And hopefully the coyote will come down here. I need to get a camera set up down here. All right, let's go back up top. And get a camera and, and move it to in front of the cameras to see. That is crazy. Little old groundhog. I see you know little's pretty big. Poor little guy. Well, that will lead right into the um, problem up here at the bus. Let's go up there. We'll make our way back down here shortly and and uh, get a camera set up in front of it. That's crazy. Okay, I just went and grabbed a camera down on one of the corn piles. We'll go set it up on that groundhog. But first, I'm going to show you guys this. I got another trap, another live trap. We have a raccoon problem up here at the bus. I feel there are some raccoons, but I'm getting pictures of like three, four, five raccoons at a time. One crawling right next to the tree where the camera's at. Crawling right up on that tree. I only like, Brandy's like, why is it in that tree? I said, I don't know. It was just climbing straight down. And there's the camera on that tree. And there's our pile of corn. And they're just going through town on it. So what I'm going to try to do is catch a raccoon up here, I guess. And we'll just go ahead and relocate it on the very edge of the property line out into the deep woods. And um, hopefully it won't come back over here and um, bother the deer's corn. Now we do got feeders over there, but it'll still be, I'm not hunting this one particular spot, kind of leaving it alone for like a bedding area and sanctuary. So uh, leave some raccoons over there. I don't know how far raccoons travel. They may make their way back up here. I don't know, but we're going to set this real quick with some more oysters and uh, see if we can't catch uh, catch it. I'm just going to sit it right next to the corn. I'll face it. I'll face the camera so maybe we can catch it on camera going in. Put a little juice around it. Put it in the back. It's set, it's ready to go. That's how easy that is. I'll go ahead and stick a little corn in there too. All right, wish me luck on that. Okay, real quick, let's go back down there and move that by a tree somewhere and just see what we can get to come down there what's going to be down there there's no telling what travels that creek bottom um otters beavers um groundhogs coyotes stray dogs a little bit of everything so let's go down there real quick set the camera up and go from there i got the camera i don't really want to touch it and move it too far i wonder if i could stick it up let me look around here for a second. I want to find something to put it up on. It'd be nice to go across the creek and put it up over there and put it right here and catch anything that's coming. I think we just fixed it. We can set it right here. Yeah, that's gonna work. It just kind of sucks us where the, we're swimming and stuff at, but hopefully it won't be here for. Okay, my battery died as I'm filming, so I don't know what I what all I caught. Um, we staked the cam. I I staked the camera up, so I got a camera staked up. Now I'm gonna move the groundhog. Right over in here where all the poop and stuff's at. We're going to get something. There's raccoons, it's possum, whatever. We're going to get something. Hopefully, we'll see um, what kind of like predators are out here. And um, I've got comments saying, hey, don't call in coyotes because it's going to kill your deer. The coyotes are already here, guys. They're all over the place. So that's that's not really an issue. Um, but let me move this over and uh, get it set up in front of this camera. Make sure it's on. That ain't good. It's getting a card error. That ain't good, guys. Dang it, I don't have another card with me. Okay, now it's working. 
34 pitchers. That was a brand new SD card, and I had it over in front of the corn. So we got 34 pitchers of hopefully big bucks, um, but you won't see that in this video. I'll have to check it later. Okay, it's set up. The camera's right there. It's already taking pictures, it looks like. I don't see anything visibly wrong with it, like why it should die. Things Sometimes things just die. And uh, Mother Nature will take its course now um, and will feed something else with it. Pretty crazy. I wonder if I had a, could have a family around here of them, too. The girls have been sad if they would have found this. All right, hope you guys enjoyed this video, even though there was something that died in it. Um, part of life. And, uh, yeah. All right. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on next video.